Hi, Electron John from Autel here. And today I want to talk about a unique feature that your MS919 users and also the MS Ultra users with the VCMI, which has the scope and the signal generator and stuff all built into it, maybe didn't know is in the tool, maybe they're not taking full advantage of it. So here I have just a regular ignition simulator board. This is from an older Ford product, doesn't much matter. You can kind of see I got the thing powered up, everything's plugged in. As I have the crankshaft start spinning, you see that we have spark. So what I'm going to do is I want to show the benefits of using the signal generator. I'm going to do something as simple as unplug the crankshaft position sensor. So there it is unplugged. If I go ahead and start this back up again, crankshaft is obviously, obviously still spinning, but there's no longer any spark. So here's one of the great benefits to using the signal generator in your scope. I can go ahead to the tool, I hit the measurement button, and instead of selecting scope, I'm gonna select waveform generator. It's going to come up if it's the first time you're using it here. You're going to have to hit all these next and got it buttons. But right now I can tell it the type of signal I want to substitute and give to the actual demo board here or in real life scenario to the vehicle. So let's say I did my diagnostic procedure and I thought I had a bad crankshaft position sensor. I can go over here and I can say, all right, I'm going to come on up and this particular sensor should create a square wave type of pattern. So I'm gonna say square wave. Kind of shows me how I'd have to hook up my tool, which I'm saying, okay, I'm good with all that, not too worried about it. And then I'm gonna be changing the frequency. I can also change the amplitude of that square wave. Five volts is good for an older Ford product. So coming back over to my board, just so you can kind of see how we're setting up to set to apply this test. I went ahead and I'm going to take my black lead from my signal generator, plug it into a ground over here. Ford called the RPM input PIP profile ignition pickup, which is basically the crankshaft position sensor. I'm going to plug that into the back probe part of the module here. This is still unplugged. Again, it's not on yet. The tool's not on yet, so there's going to be no spark still. All I did is hook up a couple leads. I'm gonna let that spin slowly here, and I'm gonna say I'm good with this, and I'm gonna slowly start increasing the frequency output of my tool here. I hit the green button on the tool so it goes live. I see I've got that waveform pattern here. As I slowly start changing the frequency, You see, I now have spark back on my spark plugs. Sensor is still unplugged, so there's no smoke and mirrors or anything like that. So as you can see, by just looking at our demo board here, all I did was change the frequency of the tool to simulate a known good pattern. And you can see that with that adjustment on the tool, I've got the spark. I will go ahead and turn that frequency back down and you'll see that that spark will stop when I have no hertz frequency there. I have no spark output. As I go ahead and adjust that back up, I've got the spark coming back on my, on my spark plugs. So real quick, imagine the power you can use with that you have the ability to any sensor or any type of signal on the car, take advantage of it before you actually go through the time and the expense of actually changing a component, whether it be a crank sensor, like we use as an example in this particular demonstration here, could be a mass airflow sensor, could be whatever. The only thing you'd have to know is what the type of output that that device actually creates, and then go through and set up your your waveform generator accordingly so you can simulate that output to the PCM in the case of a real world scenario to the PCM on the vehicle in this scenario to the PCM inside this little demonstration board here so that it thinks that it now has a known good component. 
So if you haven't taken advantage of that with your Autel tool, it's definitely something you want to look into. Thanks for watching.